chemical properties of alcohol. Uh, for example, what are the reactions uh, that alcohols uh, that uh, undergoes? Okay, so chemical properties of alcohol. Eh? Okay, now let's see what types of uh, reactions eh? okay uh, and alcohols you undergoes. Uh, the first one is combustions of alcohol. Yeah, combustions. Uh, combustions means uh, burnings of alcohol. Now, like hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons like alkane, alkene, eh, they can undergo uh, combustion. So alcohol can also undergo uh, this uh, combustion. Eh? Okay. Now let's see the equations first. Huh? Equations of combustion. Eh? Let's use uh, ethanol. Eh? Ethanol as the example. Okay. Uh, ethanol C two H five O H. Eh? Okay. During combustions, eh? during combustions, the fuel. This is the fuel, okay. The fuel will react with what? So all combustions need oxygens, eh? so we plus oxygens O two, okay. And what are the product? What are the products? Carbon dioxide and water. Yes, that's good. Okay, so during combustions, uh, the products is uh, carbon dioxide and water, and this is complete combustions. Uh, complete combustions. Okay, uh, so this is the equations of the reactions, uh, combustions of alcohol. We need to balance the equations. Uh. We have two carbons here, right? So two carbon dioxide, and then we have uh, five hydrogens plus one more, six hydrogens. Uh. Six hydrogen, therefore, we have three water. Okay, three water molecule, and then oxygens. Uh, oxygens uh, here we have four oxygens. Okay, two times two, uh, four oxygens, and here we have three oxygens. Uh, three oxygens. So in total, we have seven oxygens. Uh, seven oxygen. Now a lot of students they make mistake here. They see okay, now we have seven oxygens. So they put a uh, seven and then put a uh, two. Uh, okay, seven over two. Uh, this is not correct. Eh? This is not correct. Now why? Because you see, we have one more oxygen here. Okay, so we have one more oxygen. Sir. So if you have seven oxygens here, seven oxygen here, and then plus one oxygen here, then it become eight. But here we only have seven oxygen. Eh? So uh, you must be very careful because we have one oxygen here. Therefore, here we we can only have uh, six oxygens, right? So if six oxygens, then uh, we cancel this. Okay, we cancel this, and then uh, put a three here. Okay, and then this is the balance equation for combustions. Okay, this is the balance equation for combustions. Okay, so that is uh, combustions of alcohol. So combustions of alcohol will produce carbon dioxide and water, and less soot will be produced compared to alkanes and alkene. Okay, uh, this is this is important. Eh? Okay, so combustions of alcohol will produce less soot. Eh? Soot is the black smoke. Okay, soot is the black smoke. Eh? So it will produce less soot. Uh, that is because that is because the presence of the oxygens here. Okay, because combustions need oxygen. If the oxygen is not enough, then it will produce uh, soot. Okay, but uh, here alcohol itself has one oxygen. Okay, so then uh, it won't face the problem that uh, uh, not enough oxygen. Eh? So the, the, the supplies of the oxygen should be sufficient and therefore it will produce less soot compared to alkene and alkenes. Okay, so less soot, less soot will be produced eh, due to the presence of oxygens in the, this is the hydroxyl group. The percentage of carbon in alcohol is relatively low when compared with the percentages of uh, the percentage of uh, carbons of alkene and alkene. Eh? So this is also one of the reasons why the uh, soot produced is, is lower, okay? Mm. Because the percentage of carbons is low, okay? When the percentage of carbon is high, then the, it will produce more soot, eh? okay? So that's what you need to know about combustions of alcohol. Eh? Reactions of, of alcohols with sodium. Now to understand this uh, reactions of alcohol with sodium, eh? Uh, first, we need to uh, do some revisions eh, on this uh, reaction about these reactions of water with sodium. Eh? Okay, uh, I don't know whether you still remember or not. This is uh, what you have learned in chapter four, form four, chapter four, form four, periodic table. Okay, and then uh, sodium is in group one. 
Okay, sodium is in group one, eh? group ones of uh, in periodic tables, and all group one elements or group one metals can react with water. Okay, I don't know whether you you still remember or not. Okay, uh, anyway, let's uh, try to do some revisions about this. Eh? Okay, so sodium Na and react with water. Okay, with water. It was the product when sodium react with water. Sodium hydroxide, yes, okay. Sodium hydroxide, yeah? sodium hydroxide. And this is an alkali, yeah? so it produces alkali. Okay, and at the same time, it will release what? Hydrogen gas, yes. <coughs> so at the same time, it will release hydrogen gas, huh? okay. And now let's balance the equation first. Two, 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 okay. So this is a balanced equation. Huh? So, Sodium can react with water to produce uh, hydroxide, eh? hydroxide, uh, sodium hydroxide, and uh, release hydrogen gas. Eh? Okay. Now this reaction is very uh, similar to the reactions of sodium with alcohol. Okay. It's uh, very close uh, or very similar to this uh, reactions of sodium with alcohol. I will show you later. Okay, I'll show you later. Now in this reaction, so let's see what happens. Huh? Let's see what happens. Now sodium, this is the atoms of sodium and water. Water, the structure is like this. Huh? HOH, huh? HOH. Uh, one oxygen bond with two hydrogens. Huh? Okay, now in the reactions, in the reactions, uh, this sodium, it kick one of the hydrogens out. Then uh, it take uh, it's uh, it replace it or it substitute it. Okay, so then what happened is that then this is the H O is still there, but then uh, it's the the, hy the hydrogen is replaced by a sodium. Then it become a sodium hydroxide. Yeah? This one is a sodium hydroxide. Okay, uh, the hydrogen being being kicked out. Okay, it combined with another hydrogens. Uh, okay, another hydrogen. Another hydrogen is also from water. Uh, okay, it's also from water, and these hydrogens combines together, then it will form. Uh, hydrogen gas okay mm -hmm. so this is uh, what happens uh, this one happens for the reactions between uh, sodium and water okay now let's see the reactions between uh, alcohol and sodium eh? let's take these examples the propanol and sodium can any of you tell me what's the formulas of propanol propanol C 3 H 7 OH okay and react with sodium okay now you see uh, this alcohol uh, it has this oh eh? oh eh? so the structure is something like this carbon and then we have o and h eh? okay now compared to water water is hoh -H, right okay so you can see that uh, this the structure here is uh, similar okay about the same eh? okay so what happened here is that uh, sodium sodium it will uh, kick out these hydrogens uh, and replace it. Kick out these hydrogens, replace it, and therefore the product is C three H seven O and A. Okay, O and A. Yeah. Okay. Now at the same time, hydrogens will be released. Uh, if you still remember just now, okay. So the hydrogens being kicked out will combine with another hydrogens uh, to form the hydrogen gas. Okay, and then so we need to balance the equations. Uh, let's put a two here, two and a two here. Okay, then so this is the balance equation. So, so this is how sodium, sodium react with alcohol. Uh, in this case, it's a propanol. Uh, let's see another example. Okay, another example: uh, methanol and sodium. Eh? Methanol and sodium. Methanol. So the formula is a uh, CH three OH. Eh? Okay. And when you react with sodium, uh, can any of you tell me what's the product? What's the product produced? Okay, methanol react with sodium. What's the product produced here? CH three O and A. That's correct. Okay, CH three O and A. Yeah. Okay, and at the same time, uh, hydrogen gas is produced. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And uh, let's put a two here, two, two, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So this is the equations of the reactions. Uh, equations of reactions when a uh, sodium react with alcohol. Uh, similar, it's similar to the reactions between the water 
and sodium. Okay, and you have learned that when you are in Form 4, Chapter 4, Periodic Table. Okay, let's see some note about these reactions. Uh, if a small piece of sodium is dropped into some ethanol, it reacts steadily to give off bubbles of hydrogen gas. And so it will release hydrogen gas and leave a colorless solution of sodium ethoxide. This is ethanol, okay? So if ethanol, then it will become ethoxide, okay? If it's a methanol, it will be a methoxide. Uh, sodium ethoxide is known as an alkoxide. Eh? Uh, this is less important, okay? This is less important. And the, this sodium ethoxide is also less important. Usually they won't ask you about the name, eh? okay? So you only need to know the formula, okay? You need to know the formula, how to write the equations, eh? because uh, you need to know the formula to write the equation. So uh, this is the formula. So you need to know that when alcohol react with sodium, it will release hydrogen gas. That's the very first thing that you need to know. And uh, second, you need to know how to write the equations of the reactions, okay? And then you need to know that this is similar to the reactions between uh, sodium and water. Dehydrations of alcohol. Eh? We have discussed this when we discuss alkenes, eh? okay? Because this is the reactions that we use to prepare alkenes, right? Dehydrations of alcohol. Eh? Um, if you still remember, okay? Dehydrations means uh, Hydro is water, okay? D means we remove or eliminate. Eh? So if we remove water from alcohol, eh, it will become alkenes. So that's called dehydrations of alcohol. And uh, in these reactions, eh, we use uh, aluminum oxide or porcelain chips eh, as a uh, catalyst, okay? Catalyst is used to speed up the reactions, eh, okay? And this is a setup of apparatus eh, of these reactions. So we have glass wool soak with ethanol, okay? And then we have porcelain chips. We heat the porcelain chip first and then we heat this uh, glass wool soak with ethanol. Eh? So this ethanol, when, pass, when it passes through these porcelain chips, eh, then it will become ethene, eh? okay? And then so the ethene is collect here, okay? So this is the uh, setup of apparatus eh, for these reactions. Let's see the uh, equations of the reactions, okay? This should be ethanol, uh, reactions of ethanol, uh, ethanol and uh, propanol, uh, propanol, okay? For ethanol, uh, uh, ethanol, the formula is uh, C2H5OH, right? Okay, so we heat it, okay, with this uh, presence of aluminum oxide, Al2O3, uh, it will produce uh, ethene, uh, C2, H4 and at the same time, so a water molecule is removed. Okay, a water molecule is removed. Okay, and uh, for uh, propanol, C3H7OH. Okay, you heat it, uh, and then it will become C3H6 plus H2O. Okay, now I'm not going to explain a lot. On this eh, because you have learned this in alkenes the previous lesson just previous lessons we have discussed this eh? oh no no uh two two uh, last two lessons before this okay okay so when we discuss uh chemical properties of alkenes that uh, we have discussed this okay uh, or uh, preparations of alkenes sorry preparations of alkenes we have discussed this okay exactly the same reactions eh? okay so dehydrations of alcohol uh, will produce alkene uh, this is another uh, another setup of apparatus for these reactions, okay? It's still the same reactions, dehydrations of alcohol, eh? okay? But this one, we use sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid as the catalyst. Because these two are liquid, eh? okay? They are, it's, it's a solution, so therefore the setup of apparatus will be different. And this one, we need to control the temperature at 170 degrees Celsius. Okay, because sulfuric acid is an oxidizing agent. Eh? Okay, if you do not control the uh, the temperature, okay, then uh, the sulfuric acid will oxidize the alcohol. Okay, uh, then you, you have a lot of byproducts. Eh? Okay, so this one the temperature must be controlled at one hundred seventy degrees Celsius. Eh? So we mix uh, ethanol with this uh, concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid. Eh? Then we heat it and control the temperatures at one hundred seventy degrees Celsius. Uh, then it will become uh, alkene, or in this case, because we use ethanols, therefore the product is ethene. Uh, so this is also dehydration of alcohol. Uh, some note 
about these reactions. Uh. So concentrated sulfuric acid produces messy products. Okay, if you do not control the temperature, okay, it will produce a lot of byproducts. Uh, okay, so it produces a messy results. Uh. Not only is it an acid, but it's also a strong oxidizing agent. Uh. So it oxidizes some of the alcohol to carbon dioxide, and at the same time, uh, it's produced itself to uh, sulfur dioxide. You see, so if you use sulfuric acid, uh, okay, uh, you you will get a lot of byproducts. You will get uh, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. Uh. So both of these gases have to be removed from alkenes. Uh. So that is uh, what you need to know about uh, these reactions.